Back to Harbaugh, it might be one of the greatest ironies of the 2012 presidential election. The politician who has been one of the strongest and most persuasive advocates for the controversial individual mandate in health care is not the president of the United States, but rather his very likely Republican opponent. Mitt Romney put in place a law in Massachusetts that became the role model for the president's own law. But he's now one of the biggest critics of what's called Obamacare, at least by his critics. Jonathan Gruber's a professor. He's uniquely positioned to discuss the similarities and differences between the two plans. He advised both Mitt Romney and President Obama on their health care laws. He's a professor at MIT and author of the book Health Care Reform. And Howard Feynman is editorial director of the Huffington Post and an MSNBC political analyst. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Uh, professor Gruber, uh, in any terms, laymen's or experts, is there any big difference between what Romney did up in Massachusetts and what the president has done through his law nationwide? Chris, there's not really a meaningful difference in the core of the plans. The basis of the national plan is what we did in Massachusetts, both, both uh, just in how it's structured. You can see that. It's the same structure. And in the, in the development of it, I can testify that I was asked constantly, how did you do it in Massachusetts? How, how did you make it work in Massachusetts? Now, the federal law is more ambitious in two ways. First of all, in Massachusetts, Mitt Romney had a nice leg up because the feds paid for his bill. The federal government doesn't have that leg up. Second of all, our bill in Massachusetts did not try to take on cost control, which the Affordable Care Act does. So you can really think of the Affordable Care Act as Romney's plan for Massachusetts with these two extra parts. And it has to have cost control to make up for the fact that it didn't have a revenue stream. Howard, it seems to me that, let me get one more question here. Um, this difference, what is the fight about then? Is it just purely politics, Professor? There is no substantive difference between what Romney wanted to do. Tell people, look, yes, he put it, 92% of the people in Massachusetts have health care insurance. The other eight don't. I'm going to make sure the other eight get it. You know, I, you don't have to listen to my opinion. Just do the logic on this. This is a Republican idea. It was originally developed by conservative economists. And at the bill signing in 2006, so Mitt Romney proud, proudly signed this law into place, on the podium was a speaker from a Heritage Foundation talking about what a great conservative law this was. All of a sudden, President Obama, being pragmatic and, and uh, smart about it, decides this is a good idea, let's adopt that, and suddenly it's the devil's work. I don't see how that could be anything but pure partisan politics.